stuff for us. All right, guys. I'm real beachin', and the B stands for back, baby, because we are back again for everyone's favorite event, the Super Mario Maker 2 Relay Race. Make a little bit of noise for this event. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, I am joined on the couch today by two absolute legends in the community. But first, I want to mention Mario the Man versus Mario the Idea. If you aren't familiar with this iconic copy pasta, then I'm sure Twitch chat would be happy to fill y'all in. This wonderful piece of literature is where our team names come from this evening. Uh, team Per Chance versus Team Crush and Turts. Representing Team Per Chance in the black Shre uh, Shrek shirts is this absolute ray of sunshine. It's one of the hottest streams on Twitch. So hot, some might even say they're on fire. He is George <laughs> Washington's biggest fan. You already know. Give it up. Race fire. <laughs> All right. And now our captain for Team Crushing Turts, looking like a group of NPCs straight out of Vice City today. Oh, man, who dressed, y'all? Uh, it was actually this guy right here. I didn't tell him last night, but he actually got me into Mario Kaizo oh. on uh, YouTube five years ago. That led me to Twitch and has now led me to standing next to him right here today. It's like a Hallmark movie, you guys. I can cry. Put your hands together for the man of a million origins, the people's champ himself, Grand Poober. All right, I'm going to introduce my team here, Team Crushing Turts. First up in the back right, one of the hottest creators in all of Mario Maker 2, the big man, our anchor. Give it up for Casper. Ooh. Over on the back left, you know him from his many, many Kaizo levels. Without him, literally none of us would be on this stage right now. And a lot of you would not be on that crowd. And a lot of us would not be making this money. So thanks right there. Give it up for Pangea Panga. Uh-oh. On the front right, it's his birthday. The bald assassin, give it up for ro 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 And finally, no stranger to this event. He's playing every N64 game, but here he's not even going to pass the controller because he's going to beat every level. Give it up for the Beast 7 2 1. <laughs> All right, so let's go over Team Perchance here. So to start us off, she needs no introduction, but here it is, just in case, the queen of Kaizo herself and master of Mario Bam, it's Shoujo! <laughs> Next up, a hidden gem, an historian of the Kaizo world, a player seasoned since 2015, finally making his long-awaited stage debut. Let's hear it up for Riley C. Up next, we have the dual threat, skillfully navigating both melodies and Mario levels with ease. It's Tanuki Dan! <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, we have the Kaizo Conqueror who's so skilled at Mario, he's traded buttons for a steering wheel before. It's Lil Curbs! <laughs> All right, so Beach in. let's uh, run through how this is going to go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get over the rules here real quick before we get started. Uh, for anybody that isn't familiar, this is a musical chair style relay race where the runner is going to be handing the controller off on each death or level completion. First team to beat the level gets a 10 second head start going into our final event. If neither team can beat the level in eight minutes, we call it a draw. No advantage is awarded. And these levels come from wonderful makers out there in the community who have volunteered their time and efforts to make some cool levels. Uh, let's get right into it. Level one here is by the creator Jank Pickle. This is an SMB1 style level called the Dark Pool. Uh, it's a half swimming, half platforming level, sure to be all fun. Uh, it's filled with all kinds of different impassable gates, but uh, there's a couple tricks and stuff here in tech that you guys might not uh, have heard of to help you get through this. Let's get right into it. We're gonna count this down and start this event off right, starting from three. Three, two, two one, one, go! go! All right, right there. A Both. lot to take in here right at the beginning. Both players avoiding the box at the top, which you saw, you know? Oh, yeah, and that's going to be a death to the Piranha Plant up top there, but... 
And uh, not quite soft lock. As you can see right now, these players are going to be trying to get pushed through the platforms, actually. Yeah, most of these platforms are semi-solids. The players can approach them from the bottom normally, but they can't pass through the top uh, without a little bit of assistance. But there's actually all kinds of fun interactions you can have by forcing the players through these here. Yeah, you've seen Team Perchance right there. Needs to go a little bit faster on there. Uh, meanwhile, Team Crushing Turts looks like they get the idea here. Can they get this platform quick enough? There it is. Here we go, Team Perchance, a chance to Get a little intel, nice oh, little maneuver the there. Oh, but a death on the muncher. They're figuring it out. Yeah. But yeah, they're making quick work of this level so far. I see crushing turrets right here. Going back to this, uh, what are those bullet bill launchers? I should know that. I play this game. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah I think they're called bullet blasters. Yeah, the yeah. red ones actually shoot even faster. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Are the red ones called something different? That's a great question. That's a great question. Well, that's why I was like, I was like hesitating. I was like, oh, the red one's different, you know? I They're just that. scarier. Yeah, yeah. So a little edge looks like uh, knowledge-wise the team for chance, but uh, there we Crush go. and Turret's on a bit of a run here. Yeah, Thab is figuring it out. Good stuff yeah, by Thab. Big See progress that. there. Waiting for the platform. He's going to duck underneath those piranha plants. Per chance right behind him, though. Yeah, per chance right there. And Thab, you see, he's... Thab with the escort. Oh! oh killed it! Great did, reads, though. Incredible run. Did not do it fast enough right there. The bomb actually exploded that Toy Koopa. Both teams pretty neck-and-neck neck knowledge-wise here. I think Crush and Church with a slight edge, but... We'll see how this run goes, okay. Yeah, knowledge is so important in this game. Even if you uh, take a death, just letting your teammates see what's coming up next and figuring that out and communicating with each other is huge. For yeah, them. I mean, I gotta say, like, as someone who's done a few of these races in the past, one of our biggest advantages is literally screen watching the other team. Um, you kind of always want to have someone with the eyes on whichever team is in front the whole time so you can relay that information to whoever's playing next. Absolutely. Yeah. Cardinal sin at uh, any LAN party for sure. Don't take this advice home. <laughs> but very, very helpful here. Yeah, here in Blind Mario Maker, we appreciate it. Yes. Oh, oh that's tough to get in. Seemed like right there he wanted to get kind of like a running duck move uh, going on instead of just trying to like force his way in there. Yeah, a little slide action can go a long way. Looks like both teams are uh, pretty even so far. They both seen seen just about everything. Three minutes already. Neither team has seen a checkpoint. Yeah, and this has got uh, at least one I know of. Jank Pickle is uh, often uh, making pretty difficult tough levels. And Panga right there, just a little too eager. Oh, but uh, here we go, little curbs. On a bit of a run here. Okay. Gets Get the piranha under. plant removed. Oh. Can't get in under that. That is tough. Yeah, that no block is definitely no it, easy thing to get through. It's Jank, a mean one. Yeah, Jank Pickle living up to the name right there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a no block. I mean, that's just that's what they're known for, right? Literally. <laughs> I mean, you, here's the thing. You got to use every item you, you can got do. To. You, you got to use it. all the items, right? <laughs> right. You know? And here we go. Nice. Oh, nice. Good oh. clip through by Crushing Turds. Speed. Let's go. And, oh, he gets the clip. Again. He's going to jump up. Are they going to be able to get over? And there it is, that's the checkpoint the for Team Crushing Turds. Crushing Turds, first one to the checkpoint, and we're seeing reads right nice. here. Nice. Tanuki Dan trying to lock in that checkpoint for his team. Ooh. Ooh. See, now this is where the pressure really starts to head on. When the other team has the checkpoint, you really feel behind, as you see. Team Crush and Turds just getting pushed through there. And they're making lots of progress right now. Yeah, some great reads from Aura. I mean, that, that's kind of what you want to do. If you can continue to push on a new section, gain every knowledge with, you know, don't waste a death. Yeah. As long as you yeah. gain knowledge with every death, that's a good run. Exactly, exactly. Ruby, do you maybe have a donation or two you want to pop off for one of us? Oh, yeah, I absolutely do. I we have a $10,000 donation oh, from Dan Salvato saying, seeing the collective genius of Mario makers and players come together is always my favorite part of GDQ. Thanks for making some amazing levels and making this an unforgettable event. Now let's make the Versus Showcase happen. I love you all. Oh, that is beautiful. Thank Here you so go. much, Ruby. Oh. Absolutely. Team for Chance gets the clip. Well, we see a checkpoint. Beautiful. There it is. Team for Chance right nice. behind. Right back in it. 
<laughs> and this is a situation where Team Perchance has a lot of opportunity because they've just gained a lot of knowledge, essentially. Yeah, and they both are on the same run, too, yeah, so. Exactly. Yeah, if they've been screen watching here, they know what to do already. And once you hit checkpoint, I mean, it's the great equalizer. You're both at the same spot, essentially. Yeah, any run could be the run that goes right, the distance. Right, right. Okay. Whew. I mean, especially, you know, when we're talking about the, the players on Team Perchance. Um, oh, oh, close. Great reads by Aura there, though, using the iframes to let a muncher that would normally kill you pop you through there. This is a super creative level. I, I love to see this kind of stuff. Players at nearly six minutes, only two minutes left to finish this level. You can see we definitely stepped the game up on these levels from previous years. Because quite frankly, these players are getting very good. Yeah. Yeah, these exactly. guys are great. Like, I think we probably have 20,000 combined hours of Mario Maker across all these guys on the stage here. At least. I'm pretty sure Aura's got 20,000 on himself. <laughs> You're probably right, honestly. <laughs> Oh, meanwhile, here we go. Team for, team for chance. chance gets the clip. Pulling up Riley with the move. Oh, through. there's the goal. The goal's in sight. Into the pipe. Team for Chance That's gets the checkpoint. checkpoint. Team for Chance back in the lead. Just like that. Oh, but Crush and Turch right behind. Crush. We're neck wow. and neck here. It's anyone's game. I would love to see a W from someone here. And both players making a lot of progress here. Wow, Team Perchance has a little oh, run from Riley. We'll Riley's see, Crush and Turch with an opportunity. Switch. Will they get it? Let's get the crowd. Vega finds the down button. There's the clip. Oh, <laughs> and there can't be much more shot. level here. There's the pipe. Oh, oh, Will he make God. it? No! Oh, he gets thrilled by the note block. <laughs> right at the end, there's oh. an opportunity for Team Perchance. Oh, my gosh. And we are already at 7.16 right now. There is not a lot of time. Remember, if we don't see a W here before 8, neither team gets the time bonus. We call it a draw. Shoujo now getting the uh, bullet bill clip. You can definitely tell they understand the concept of this for level sure, here, this sure. final checkpoint. And there is the final pipe. Shoujo's through. Will she be able to Will make it through? Oh! oh! And she takes the Will wow. even go? Wow. And there it is. Team for chance like on that. the board. 18 seconds left. Wow. Good stuff. What a comeback. What a comeback. Aura that, waiting. That's just level one. Yeah, it's I mean, level we got one. many more levels to go here. What a Shoujo comeback. just doing what we there already know her for. <laughs> yeah. Incredible play, guys. And we talked about that, that knowledge, you know. Yeah, the knowledge goes a long yeah. way. Yeah, I mean, right there, they were able to avoid that final troll because they saw it. They knew what they were going into. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, that was a huge uh, point right there. It really kind of was almost a disadvantage for Team Crushing Turts to be in the lead there at the end. Yeah, you know? they got so far ahead yeah. that Team Perchance just knew exactly what to do once they got there themselves. It's just like racing, you know, you got to draft a little sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see what they're doing. It's smart. <laughs> All right, let's get on to level two here. This level is by another wonderful creator named Nickabuzz. This is the SMW style, my personal favorite. That's called Phasmophobic Foot Race. This level uses everyone's favorite dino, Yoshi. And a little known fact Ooh. about Yoshi, they are terrified of ghosts. And this level is a ghost house. So players are going to have to navigate this spooky mansion on the back of a dinosaur that can't wait to escape. Are y'all ready to run this? Let's do Woo! it. Let's count it down. Three, Three two, two, one, go! go! Uh, Pooh, did I hear you boo when I mentioned Yoshi? Oh, you know, I'm just not... Yeah, what's the deal, man? You want to talk about it? Uh, well, they're... You've got a minute. Invasive species, they... Invasive. Yeah, I mean, literally, they... Look, at, they're not even, they're just growing out randomly out of <laughs> Just out of, out of nowhere. They eat everything, just suck the resources dry, you know? It's just not, oh. they're not native to the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> Mess up the ecosystem. True, true. Yeah. Well, right. talking about the level a bit here, it looks like the, uh, the main mechanic here is going to be using the iframes from repeatedly jumping on that Yoshi to get through here. Exactly. And a very cool thing about Yoshi is when you get iframes on Yoshi, Yoshi takes off running. You can remount. Um, it's, yeah, it's just a really fun, cute gimmick, and I, I love to see this kind of stuff. Something I, something I really like about this is Yoshi is canically scared of ghost houses, too. That is a very... Totally. You know, like, in-canon thing. So I, I appreciate him, uh, the creator, using this. His team on crushing Tango. turds. Just running away with it, literally. Yeah. Oh, oh but right at the oh, end. The same. Of Incredible course, run. you have to get on the Yoshi and then sacrifice him to go in. Of course. It is what Yoshi's entire purpose it's, is for. It's what he's meant to do. It's his highest honor, in fact. Yeah. yeah. It's 
like a Christmas tree. You know, they just want to be cut down and decorated. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that one. <laughs> uh, you see, both teams right now in the same spot. Crush and Church, though, unfortunately, both teams not able to hold those iframes. And I think at this point, both teams definitely have the knowledge needed to get to that pipe. It's just a matter of execution here. Yep. Yeah, this is just such a fun, cute level. Yeah, you'd think that there would be more levels with this mechanic, but right. this is really, really creative stuff. I did see a, a fan-made game that used a really similar gimmick to this, actually, where landing on Yoshi would just pop off. And, and that's the cool thing about that. You don't even need ghosts to do that. And here we go. That's Arter right. barely... Oh, they gets the Yoshi! It. There it is! No vines needed. And that's going to be a checkpoint. checkpoint. Yeah. Team, well done. Team Crush and Turts getting that first checkpoint. But again, as we've seen in these relay races in the past, I feel like Team Perchance is going to be right behind him on that. Yep. That first I mean, checkpoint is not a guarantee. Riley on a bit of a run. Oh, just barely misses the Yoshi there. Ooh. Oh. This is also super fun tech you have. When you, uh, when you pop a Yoshi out of one of those note blocks and they have wings, they fly around, and you can manipulate them and bonk them different ways to knock them on the ground and hatch. It's a very cool little mechanic in the game that's not often seen or used. Oh, just the wrong oh. way there. Let's see if little Curbs can catch Team Perchance up here. Yeah, it looks like they've been about one jump away from that first checkpoint a couple of times now. Yeah. It's just a matter of time until one of them secures it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a tight run. But there. yeah, that jump, very like almost maximizing the iframe time. Oh, a nice, oh, nice. Little, oh, nice little tech move by Beast right there. You see he stuck out Yoshi's tongue uh, in the back and then turned around. That actually gives you a lot more speed right there, gave him a little extra oomph on the jump. Totally. Yeah. And that's just all natural. That's ingrained in him. He's yeah, not even he thinking about it. He didn't even think yeah. about it. He doesn't yeah. even think yeah. about it. That's something that just comes with a lot of time in a Kaizo level. Absolutely. Oh. As you see right there, there's actually a spike above that. That's why they're having problems. But Team for Chance making Shoujo. checkpoint one, and we're Just right like back that. in it. Yeah. Right back in it. Again, we talked about it. They've been gaining this knowledge. Yeah, they've been seeing the team right next to them there, Ooh. making their way through the second half. They know what to do, even though they haven't been there yet. Really quick, can I sneak in an incentive update? Yeah, yes. yeah, go for it. We are only $8,000 away from making the Versus Showcase happen. Wow, let's get that, guys. Mm -hmm. You guys Great definitely want to see that. The Versus Showcase is something special this year, too. I've, I've seen those levels, and it's going to be a ton of fun if we hit that. I have faith. I, you know what? I would put all that incentive money into not fly me to the stars anyway, so let's get that one to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have mentioned it. I'm not prepared. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, and it looks like you have to hit the note block and then jump and hit it above. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. Yeah. Some great knowledge for their team there. Nice run from Panga too. All right, Shoujo back on the sticks. Now we talked about Shoujo. Last year, Shoujo was the darling of the Mario community, coming in and making one shot after one shot in both the Mario World and Mario Maker relay races. So you know she's capable. Yeah. You yeah. know she's capable. We've seen it before. She yeah. just took the last round. I yeah. mean, yeah. One of the most dominating performances of a GDQ week we've ever seen in the Mario game. And it's so cool to see, too, the ability to switch between, you know, the fan-made games and then the Mario Maker. They have very different physics systems. They do very different things. Yeah, and she does it so naturally. I know. You see Tanuki Dan strategically moving ahead, you know what I mean? To give the players yeah. the knowledge. I saw you. I saw you. I got your back. <laughs> Crush and Turts now. Lots of knowledge here. Figuring out a whole game. lot. Onto the red Yoshi. Tanga crushing right Tanga. Now. Oh, is oh, it be, oh, oh, does he, he get it? it? Oh, oh, he oh. Top. Almost had that last jump. But so a lot much of knowledge, knowledge gained Curbs there. Curbs is right behind yeah, him. Yeah, Curbs here now. Same spot. Going for the same thing. Will we see it? Oh, he Does he get it? it? Curbs gets it. Oh, he sees it. Does he see it? Oh. Can he keep going? Oh, he makes it. No more. He's a block. <laughs> oh my god! Those reads are amazing. Such a run. But even though he didn't make it, he got so much knowledge for yeah. his team. Oh. Like, they know exactly what to do at this point. <laughs> Fab is right the back troll. there. Here we go, awesome. yeah. Fab on a run for Team Crush and Turds. I cannot believe the Kaizo blocks. Who would do that? Oh, those are disgusting. And here we go. Does he know? Oh, he doesn't know! He didn't know! 
He wasn't he didn't watching. See it. No. And as you see now, those players are going to have to follow that Yoshi and use that final red Yoshi to double jump off. And now we're in a situation where there is just oh, it's just a matter oh, of execution. A minute and a half. Either team could take this one. Oh no! One oh. Casper versus now. Riles, both first-time racers, right here. Trying to take it in. Yeah, and little off. known fact, best friends. Oh. Oh, yeah. actually? Oh, shucks. Well, they really like each other. That's good. We, we have so much up love up coming team. in from the community. Can we get a few donations <laughs> in? Absolutely. Sure. Please, Amazing. So we have a donation from Tanner saying, pretty wild seeing someone you went to high school with on the big stage. Good luck, Aura. Sa Sarah and I are rooting for you. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Oh, oh, right so at the close. goal again. Casper, meanwhile, the sneaking up on us is the time. We only have 40 seconds left before this level will be declared a draw. We thought it was going to go quick, but the second half yeah. has really hurt these racers. We've seen that exit, too. Oh. Shoot. Trying to save it. Who would, who would expect those Kaiser blocks? Who would do that? Who would do such a thing? Well, I mean, you see the two, then you think the third. True, you, you know think, ah, I mean? oh, that's yeah. going to be fine, right? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Surely they wouldn't do all three. <laughs> and it's tough, too, when you're uh, when you're in the heat of the moment here. You get that tunnel vision. It's hard to see Yoshi coming yeah. up on a platform out of the corner of your eye. It, it's tough to read up there. It looks like this is going to be, be the, the final, final run. Life. Yeah. yeah, looks like uh, we got Strategic to depth here. there, maybe? No. Are we doing <laughs> shot, one shot clock rules? Yeah, I think we got to. I think, to. Oh, I think that's going to be it. Is. It's going to be right. a tie. We got to draw on that one. Very cool level. That's the a tough troll, one. The troll, the troll at the troll end. On both, too. That first level had it as oh, well. Oh, man, that troll. All right, we're going to get into our third level here. This is by Keens. I'm sure anybody here who's been playing Mario Maker knows of this creator. Uh, really awesome person out here in the crowd today, too. Very cool guy. Very friendly. Go ahead and say hi to him if you want. This level is called Power Struggle, SMB3 style. It's got a super cool gimmick and where the creators have come up with this off-screen machine that changes the on-off state whenever the player has iframes. So if they collect a power-up or they take damage, the on-off state changes. Let's see what kind of cool setups you got kind of up with here. Uh, let's get the countdown going. Oh. Okay. Should we hang on just a quick hot second here? I think we're nine whole dollars nine away. Nine more dollars away. Nine you guys want to see those versus? Versus? Give versus? Give us nine dollars. There, there it is. is. There it is. Thank you so much, GameStone Quick, for making that happen. Beautiful. All right, you, you guys, guys ready so for much. this countdown? Three, two, two one, one, go! go. Woo! Now, this is a really, I saw this one on video, and this is one of those mechanics that I just didn't know existed. I'm at not all. sure I've seen it. it. The machine is wild. I have no idea how it works. Yes. So feel free to not ask me about that. But uh, it, it it just does. Yeah, it's one of these, and and you see it in games. I mean, just a Tears of the Kingdom. We've seen people use machines, you know, build these crazy things to accomplish these crazy, unthinkable, you know, movements. And we do the same thing here in Mario Maker all the time as well. And this is just a great example of it. Great run from Riley, getting super deep in the level already. Yeah, I mean, you'd, you'd think, oh, it's just a 2D Mario game. Like, how complicated can it be? But these right. guys have it down to a science. True, like, truly, a science. Uh, and then, looks like King or Casper and Riley both getting a little confused on that same part there. Yeah, I think they just missed the spike. Till yeah. They... And I got to say, Keens makes such great levels. The concepts are so simple and just so fun yes. and well thought out. Like, anyone can play them and enjoy them. They're so great. Looks like Curb's making Curbs some good progress. Yeah. yeah. Nice reads by him. All right, let's see if we can clutch the There's pipe. There's the pipe. Will he get oh. it? No! Oh, that wow. shell is elusive. But Shoujo knows exactly what to do now, so exactly. we'll see if she can uh, secure it here. Let's Meanwhile, see if Panga can Panga. pull it in. Yeah, Panga making big progress as well. Ooh, almost wanted to And take here we go. Will he get him. the jump? And hey, he gets it. That's no up clutch. button today. Big clutch. And checkpoint over to Crushing Turds. Another checkpoint for Crushing Turds, but can they finish? We've yet to see them hit a final. Oh, I didn't realize that cannon was going straight down to the lava. That'd be a little quicker there. All right, Shoujo. Shoujo now on the jump. Obviously, she gets it. Get there it is, and Just we are there. back to neck and neck. 
Yeah, there's just no way you were going to see those players miss that shell twice. Yeah. No shot. Yeah, too, the talent level up here is too good. Yeah. Let's see, aura for Order. pressure. Tokens. Nice and quick, yeah. And you talk about a player that's seen it all. Order over there, played endless. Nice man. shell jump what there. What is the shell jump? <laughs> is that what do we even but need to do? But does he need the shell? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little confused myself. <laughs> Honestly, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Why? Well, I, I mean, you need the mushroom. You need. The oh, mushroom. you definitely need that. Yeah, yeah. You need the mushroom. That's one of those times where he was too good. Right. And that happens so often yeah. with these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you're just too good. Yeah. I wonder what that's like. <laughs> so here we go. We'll see what Pangus got. Trying to figure out that same section that Arder was oh, on now. Oh, is. gets the jump. Oh, nice. Panga's got the knowledge here. Yeah. Now. Just got to be quick. Oh, and, and Shojo pulls Shoujo it off. Pulls yeah. it off. Ring out. And we're seeing, oh, what a Ray read there Reese. by yeah. Shojo. Nice. That was huge. Very hard to just see that. See, he realizes oh. the Kaizo oh, blocks. Oh, my. That's Insane so well reads here. Oh, gets it. The read. Oh, will she make it? Is this the end? Do we have more? Looks like there's a oh, few. Oh my god! A few more seconds of the level here. Beat. Makes oh, the jump. Oh, no. oh, oh. But actually wanted to get hit there. Yeah. He, Normally I, you'd want to dodge that, but yeah, I, I almost think she was trying to jump on top of it when you just wanted to jump right yeah, through it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's so weird to just be taking damage when you're so used to just annoying. Yeah. The it's such like a, an yeah. interesting concept. Yeah, the idea right. of like needing to take damage to progress in the level. And that's what's so cool. We're still just seeing awesome innovation like this with the game. And oh, oh. just got it a little too early. I think they see what they are. Uh, team Crush and Turks, my team here needs to start uh, <laughs> eye watching the other team a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Second time, it's cost us. Gotta get some Eddie Guerrero strats. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? they're both neck and neck now, and I think they both know what needs to be done. Only four but did, down. did Team Crush and Turts see the section that Shoujo was on? That's the question, I don't know. I don't know. We got Casper here, though, who has played a lot of Keen's levels. Meanwhile, and Casper is in there. He's in there. Right, we'll see, we'll is see. In this there. is coming down to it. Oh, oh doesn't not realize! It. Takes oh, damage! Kerbs gets, it. Kerbs gets it! Is that it? Are we done? Do we have more level? I Into the pipe. The pipe. That, that might be it. Oh, we're oh, not there done. There is more level here. Can you believe it? These levels are insane. They brought the heat this year. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> they really did. Oh, this is a boss wow. section, actually. Super interesting here. Did y'all see the save from Curbs on that? That yes. was crazy. Yeah, the first Curbs had the cycle completely wrong, but yeah. still somehow making this work. Oh, oh, just didn't quite change in time. Really, really great gameplay. And here we got, yeah, Panga's right behind Meanwhile, him. Meanwhile, Panga yeah. right there. As you listen to Panga. the fart, the fart noise is your signal. <laughs> Able to get in. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no. Honestly, that pig is more intimidating than the heartbeat. All right. When you hear that. Right now, Team Crush and Turks may be able to come back, but unfortunately... Forgot about the switch. For, the whole gimmick of the level. <laughs> <laughs> it almost seems like avoiding the fireballs is your best bet. You just try to get around them and take on the spikes because so much more controlled there. You really have to, like, think oh. backwards for this stage. Totally, totally. Yeah. And I see what uh, Tanuki Dan right there just kind of got confused about, which would be up. Sometimes, even if you know what to do, it still throws you off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. And also, you got to add in, we're racing. So they're trying right. to do this fast, you know? Like, right. They're figuring it out as they go, and they know there's a team competing right next to them. It's a lot of pressure, but these guys are crushing it so far. Riles that here. Was a super close power up grab. Yeah, oh, dude, nice. that was oh what's gets gonna happen? Oh, oh. I was hoping we'd get the switch there. Yeah, that switch is not instantaneous because of the global machine. It takes just a second, and sometimes that can be enough to throw you off. You know, he got the mushroom and then got hit right afterwards, and I have to. Oh, is that what it, happened? Yeah, oh. is that what it was? If it, if it quick switched or. And wait, uh, the, the key collected for Team Crush and Turns. Harder. Will. Here we go. 
Oh, oh no. Gets the dodge. And oh, oh. the bold man has done it. Team crushing wow. turrets on the board, one to one. And that mushroom on the bottom with the lava slowing down, that's a, that's a heck of a dodge. Great job. Just like that, we're tied up. Amazing Great job, awareness. teams. Amazing awareness right there. Yeah. These levels are insane, by Aren't the way. Aren't they cool? These levels are so cool. Yeah, yeah, I've been very impressed with them. These makers are some of the best in the community, and it's just so cool to see them still active and having fun with this game. <laughs> All right, our uh, next level up here is actually a collab level. That's two creators working on one level, Lu Wuka and Mang. Our first 3D World style level is called Supersonic Racing. Uh, luckily, these racers are used to going fast because this level utilizes dash pads, which make the players run at supersonic speed. Quick reactions and cool heads will prevail. Just like that, let's get into it, guys. Counting down in three, three two, two, one, go! As we see, you know, see on the bottom, I'm super hyped for that co-op Super Metroid later. Yeah, that's gonna be oh, insane. So good. I mean, honestly, for the whole rest of the event, it's just bangers Banger, all across the board. Though. Yeah. Casper making quick work of this already. Very impressive. A lot. And Tanuki's right, or Shoto's right behind. Yeah, a lot of speedrun champions here. You know what I mean? They like levels that go totally. fast. Uh, 3D World is a favorite from a lot of these players, so not surprised they're making great work of this level. In there already. Yeah, and 3D World is really cool in this game because it has its own set of moves that's unique to only this. Yeah. Right. Like, you're not going to find these dash panels anywhere else. Yeah, this is the only style you can get them in. Yeah. As we see Shoujo, I mean, we... T oh! oh. <laughs> that was a commentator curse right there. I was totally, about to say, yeah. we talk about her one shot, <laughs> you know. Uh, Ruby, do you maybe have a donation you want to pop for us? Absolutely. Uh, we have a $2,589.70 donation from Drake saying, couldn't lend it as DDQ go by without donating. Also, couldn't let Breath of the Wild go by unmet. Shout out to my amazing wife, Jess. And speaking of which, we are so close to getting that Breath of the Wild run met. We have about, I want to say, $320,000 to go. And remember that there is also a stretch goal that if we can reach uh, $80,000, we will have a Cryonis Wind Bomb Showcase. And we're also looking at a uh, blind Blindfolded BLSS showcase. So remember that every dollar you donate towards those incentives also goes towards the goal of getting that Breath of the Wild in the schedule. Let's go. Yeah, and I just I just really want to let the, the people know that Breath of the Wild incentive is the one you should be donating to here right now. <laughs> the Breath of the Wild incentive. Put your money towards that one. Meanwhile, Tanuki Dan not only hitting the checkpoint for Team Perchance, but still going. He's on that same run. Yeah, he's amazing. absolutely crushing into the oh war box here. Like that. Insane Dan. Reads here by Such Dan. Making, reads. Dan over making here. quick work of this level. Gets the ground pound. Takes Figuring a out what to, to do. see what's happening. It's the beach oh. But Great oh, run, so much information there. Yeah, that was a beautiful use of a life. Yeah, like he didn't just get the checkpoint. I mean, he, he almost yeah. went the distance. He almost yeah. just did the whole thing. I'm loving this level too because it's almost as if there's so many different ways to do it. You really get to see the player's style come out here. It's not that there's just, you know, one side yeah. that's all for this. Yeah. yeah. Some people like to loop back, take a second to read. Some people are just slam it through, you know, it's awesome. Yeah, and it's something about like these types of levels. Like you can give yourself time to think. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If you set it up, we see Aura. And Aura knows what to do there. Gets the long jump. Yep, taking This might beat. be the end here. Trying to figure oh! out. Oh! Brutal. <clears throat> and these boost panels, they, um, they're they very fast. If you just yeah. input a single direction, just a little bit, your character's going that way. Yeah, this is not P-Speed. This is yeah. uh, P-Speed Plus. And you can't just turn around like you can't normally either. Yeah, you got to jump to You have to, to turn jump around. to turn, yeah. so. Yeah. Oh, gets nice. the ground pound cancel. Will we get the long jump? But are we done? Another checkpoint Another for Team checkpoint. for Chance. Beautiful. Little Curbs reading the section very well. Ooh, it's a bit of a short long jump there, but still yeah. checkpoint collected. Yeah, I think they're actually going to want to use the boost panel. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah to get that extra yep. speed. Long. There it is. Nice long jump. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> the car. Everybody's favorite oh, good. item. Good read there by Shoujo. Oh. oh! Yeah, and that ground pound is uh, kind of tricky because if you're facing left, once you hit that panel, you're going straight into the pit. 
Exactly. Team Perchance really doing well on this level right now. But I mean, we've seen comebacks before, so yeah. that doesn't mean that this is a guaranteed win for them by any means. Panga trying to set up the long jump. Do you see that speed strat he was trying to do by just ground pounding through and boosting yeah, off? Yeah, that was man. crazy. Panga, yeah, Panga is so great. But that is one of those situations where you're trying to save a little time and you end up losing a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. True. You just can't take the speedrunner out of him. No. Yeah, that ground pound looking kind of deceptively hard there because you want to stop yourself before you hit the spiny, but if you're facing left, when you hit that boost panel, you're going to go straight into the pit. So you have to turn back right just before you hit it in order to keep going there. That might be my favorite is. car setup I've ever seen. Yeah, hit the wall and bounce just back. Smash it and get rid of it. Oh. Little curb is timing it. The jump. Oh, oh. Gets the up pipe. Wow. Clutches the up pipe with the P speed. Wow. We're not out of the woods to shed here. Oh no. One final enemy for Lil Curbs. Just like that. Are we sure it's just oh, oh, oh! But a final long jump. Just when you think it's over, it keeps going. The level that keeps on giving. Wow. That's a tough ending. The door is suddenly still open for Team Crush and Turts. Shoujo. And they get the checkpoint here. Setting up the... Did we miss a restart? No, no, no. Okay. They didn't get there. I don't think. Shoujo gets the long jump here. Gets... It, oh, oh, oh! Can, the can save. Save get in there? Goes for the recovery. Oh! Nice, there it is. Incredible. That is such a hard gap to get back into. Yeah, that one wide is not yeah. easy. She made it look easy, but it is not easy. All right, she's got the knowledge here. She knows what to do. Meanwhile... Right Crush and Turks him. right there, order. 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 Run. There goes the oh, oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, the Wait, box! The high! Wait, is Oregon? But is it done? Oh, oh, she oh she gets god. it. There it is. That would have been the steal of the century right there. And he goes into the box. Right in as the well. box as well. Wow. Good stuff. What a level. That was a nail biter. What a level. Honestly, all, all of these levels these have been insane. These, yeah. these teams, though. Yeah, these teams are insane. These guys are crazy. The levels are crazy. Everything's crazy. <laughs> yeah, we are neck and neck here. I love it. It's a great competition. Okay, uh, let's get on to level five here by uh, a really awesome young creator named Quacken. Another SMW style level. In fact, the rest of them here on Adar. Uh, this is called Goofy Goombud. Uh, you've all seen Goombuds before, but I bet you haven't seen them quite like this. This level's in the night ground theme, which makes for some very interesting behavior when you activate your Goombuddy from a question mark block. Let's see if the players can figure out what's going on here. Let's start this thing off. Three, two, two one, one, go! go. Yeah! Yeah, there we go. Let's give it up for these guys. I mean, they've been crushing it. Yeah. Oh, right there. You know, can I... You know, I just got to say how awesome it is to be back in front of the Games Done Quick crowd right. out there. And, uh... Just to point out what's going on here, those Goombuds are just walking in the air. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed that, but <laughs> they're kind of just walking. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, if you are out there and you're like, oh, I really want to download these levels tonight, my suggestion would be download them as soon as you see the codes because uh, <laughs> yes. I, I think a few of these might not make it past tomorrow. Yeah, these levels aren't exactly what Nintendo had in mind. Um, they just can't stop these creative minds from coming up with this kind of stuff, though. So, yeah, all these level codes are going to be tweeted out as you see them. And like Pooh said, make sure to get them downloaded if you really want to enjoy these. Yep. And, and then disconnect your Switch from the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ruby, you got a donation you want to send for us? Oh, absolutely, I do. Uh, we have a donation from Panga Mom and Dad for $250. Oh, yeah. Aww. Say thanks, DDQ, for supporting Doctors Without Borders. Good luck, everyone. Go, go, Panga. I love that. That made my day. That was wonderful. See, Team Crush and Turts getting some knowledge right here. Yeah. Fab is known for just how good he is at these reads. 
Oh. Couldn't decide what to do there. I, I was... I'm he trying sure to ride the POW underneath? Because I'm pretty sure that's the third checkpoint. I'm pretty sure that's the last checkpoint. Oh. And he wanted to go um, up on the spikes where the ghost was. But oh, okay, okay. He could have been trying some cheese right there, you know? That would have been impressive. He did mention that he would love to cheese a race level earlier. A good run here for Arator. Team Crush and Turd yeah, sees the I checkpoint. Think, I think he knows what to do. Ooh, there it so is. close. So yeah, there really juggling that Goomba there is the key to that one. Just keep it back and forth because you want to keep that Goomba buddy with you. He is your buddy after all. And can we just like take a minute to appreciate these level makers? I mean, I've never seen this before. This game's been out for four years. Like yeah. they're still finding new stuff. It's actually yeah. insane. It's amazing. Yeah, if you boot it up endless, and this is what you got every time, like, <laughs> you're never stopping this game. Yeah. Do you think we t have time for a few more donations? Absolutely, Ruby. Amazing. So we have $250 from Sierra saying, this Super Mario Maker relay has all the hype of a sports event, and I am here for it. Who knew you could trick my polycule into watching sports? Let's push hard for Zelda. <laughs> And here we go, Curbs. Knows what to do, gets the jump. There it is, Beautiful. the pow drop. Beautiful. Right Beautiful behind him, though, a stab in the and door. Oh, wow, look at that, neck and neck here. Can we clutch this checkpoint out? Woo! Both players still going. Stab, getting that shell met. Not really getting what to do there, though, on it. Looks like yeah, you want to probably close. hit that, that bigger... Uh, Spiny through the blocks. Yeah, to yeah. To make an opening for the uh, the Goomba. Yep, those big ones can smash through those yeah. hard blocks, actually. Yeah. Right Looks there. Looks like both little... teams about at the same spot. Yeah, they're yeah. both figuring that out there. Both teams a little confused about what they should do. Again, uh, Team Crush and Turts not looking at the other team's screen at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ever. As the captain of Team Perchance, I'm okay with that. You know. <laughs> See your order right there using your teamwork. Teamwork is a huge part of these races, actually. Um, constantly. Yeah. When you're switching around, um, you have someone basically in your ear kind of telling you what to do, especially if they've already been there before and you haven't seen it. They just kind of relay, like, next jump's this, next jump's that. Uh, it can make a huge difference. Yeah, like, even though you can't hear them on the stream, these guys are in constant communication. Yeah. Yeah, even just letting someone know that, hey, that's not a max jump. You're going to want to control that. That's happening really quick. Yeah. That can just be the W right there for you. And those quick adaptations are what you need. Meanwhile, five minutes has passed. Five minutes has gone by. Yeah, this is another tough one. I think they can do it, though. Here we go. Low Curbs gets the jump. Did he need to keep that... Nice Shelmet. spin. I think we lost the goon buddy there. That would have been nice to have him for that pipe there. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, see, even finishing that, again, all that information, what's coming up next is huge. And meanwhile, uh, Team Crush and Turge is really struggling in this area. Oh, that's it. You really want to get ahead there. It's all about being quick. Making weeks in. Oh, he takes out his buddy there. But I believe that's the first time they've made it that far. So it's big yeah. developments for Team Crush and Turts here. Yeah, both of these uh, teams just trying to figure out how to navigate this goon buddy. Ruby, you got another donation you want to give us? Oh, absolutely, I do. We have a $100 donation from Comfy Pug saying, thank you everyone for an amazing stream. Had to donate for the blindfolded Breath of the Wild run. Can I get a trans rights from the audience? We also have a $150 donation from Arisa saying, here's my Tears of the Kingdom tax. I've played a lot of Tears of the Kingdom. Gotta put it towards the Breath of the Wild run, of course. Awesome. And Curb's taking that checkpoint right there. Looks like they're on the last section. Looks like we got ourselves a vertical section here. Our first vertical section, actually. 
Oh, and that goon buddy just coming out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just dropped from the sky. Just, hey, how you doing? But a very good run by by Curbs. They're getting a lot of intel for his team. And that's checkpoint too, so. Yeah, and Thab's got it figured out. Easy up pipe for him. Here we go. Will he get it? He's hit millions. <laughs> there there is it is. No such thing as an easy up pipe. You're right, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Every Mario player's worst nightmare. Yeah, the really. up button. <laughs> Just Mario in general, yeah. It's brutal. All right, we got 40 seconds left to see if someone can clutch this ending out. Harder. Really tough here in this level. Very confusing section here then. Yeah, this one's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of moving parts. Yeah, a lot. it's tough to read for sure. Because they're not only trying to like platform through the stage, they got their buddy they got to keep up with as well. Yep. All right, looking All like right. we might see another draw on this one, potentially. Yeah. yeah. One more, one more gotta count them down here. Don't really see a way they can get it, but we will let them finish out these lives. And that's there gonna it is. Well, it's gonna be a draw. There's There's gonna be a draw, draw on that one. Very, very cool, cool level, level yeah. yeah. Very cool. Totally cool. Awesome use of that gimmick. Alrighty. Looks like we are on uh, level number six now. Uh, we have a level here by Supernova Quark, who is actually the level curator for this race. Uh, they put in a ton of work getting these makers together and getting these levels tested. So, super big shout out to them. Thank you for all your hard work. Uh, another Super Mario World style level here called Cylindrical Citadel. Uh, and yeah, this is actually wild. I did not know this was possible, but we have screen wrap here in Mario Maker 2, just like you've seen in your favorite fan made Mario games. So yeah, let's what? see what oh, they wow. came up with. I know. It's, <laughs> I've never I seen that. I don't know how they do it either. <laughs> All right, you want to count us in? Three, right. two, two, one, go. go. You want a quick donut for us, Ruby, before we get in there? Absolutely. We have a $25 donation from Big Head One saying, looking forward to seeing Shoujo team perchance put on a showcase. Trans rights are human rights. Absolutely. Less than three. Woo. All right, so this one's a little bit of a puzzly level. And Shoujo in the, oh, almost didn't have the key there, I see. That's crazy. How do they, how do, they do that? I honestly <laughs> couldn't tell you. It's a lot of patience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know where they come up with something. I think that some stuff. of these guys, like, are the most knowledgeable people in the game, period. <laughs> like, yes, no, truly, yeah. Yeah, Supernova has all kinds of awesome machines and gimmicks like this. Another person out there, uh, BB Mario Maker, uh, has come up with a ton of these machines that have been used. Um, yeah, shout out to them as well. Yeah, I mean, there's just a, an extensive amount of knowledge in the maker portion of the community. Um, that is just so crazy to see. Man, I really nice, love that. Really. Nice. It looks so cool. Good stuff by Riles there. Oh. A bit a bit more of a puzzling think, level here. Yep, I, think totally. I think Riles might have forgotten that the uh, ghost swamp was going to come back. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to do these concepts when you just haven't seen them before. It's like, you it, know, yeah. running into chocolate. Yeah. You're like, oh, this isn't so difficult necessarily. But when you haven't seen it ever before, it's like, whoa, it's kind of blowing your mind a little. Yeah. It's like when you play, when you play any game, you have like, this is the rule set of this right. game. Right. But these makers are really kind of bending the rules a lot here. Totally, yeah. They, yeah. They're throwing brand new things at them. Yeah, I mean, these guys have thousands of hours, but how many of those hours have been with this mechanic, right? right. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, zero. Exactly. None. <laughs> Curbs with some awesome reads, looking to get in the door here. Nice, good go. stuff by Curbs. Fab well. is right oh, but look at that. Him. Yeah, Fab right there as well. Oh! And Fab, and Fab makes the jump. the jump. But he's got to get back to the other side to grab that key. Oh, oh beautiful. Seamless. Also, huge update. We have reached $1,700,000. Nice. Keep those claps going for Fab with the checkpoint, too. Yeah, insane stuff out of him there. Gets the double hit, too. And wow, look at that. Just reading that that new screen scroll mechanic excellently there. If there's uh, anything Thab's known for, it, it's his ability to just read these levels. I nice think, run. Nice yeah, run. Very I think good Thab run. recognizing, though, he missed the beetle and just went ahead and took the death yeah. hit. Yep, but yeah. Just exactly. trying to see how much intel he could get before he passed it off. I mean, that is huge right there. Not having to go through these puzzles again. 
Yeah, yeah oh, you only have to figure them out once. Yeah, yeah, it's a massive time save. Ooh, tough death. Looks like Dan's got a shot here at the door. Yep, yep. Nails the jump. Yep. Good stuff by Dan. This third room's tough, though. That back and forth. Yeah. That, that yeah even if you know easy. what to do. Yeah, it's not easy. Smartly waiting. Yep. Oh, oh, oh gets the jump. Oh. oh. I like that, though. It's something you don't always see, especially something I've been guilty of in the past in these races. I lack the patience sometimes, you know, and that was a really yeah. good sense of mind by Tanuki Dan right there. But unfortunately, not getting the checkpoint again there for Team Perchance means they got to go all the way back to the beginning while Team Crush and Turts gets to have a wonderful time here on checkpoint three. For two, <laughs> sorry. The Beast taking over, and he was the guy who read that, that last checkpoint yeah, before, okay. so we'll see what he can do here. Got his shell in there too now. Gets yeah. the setup. Will he get the jump? Nice! Beautiful. Wants to get Go to that on-off in time. Nails it. Beautiful. Oh! oh that's a spike out of nowhere. But again, a whole bunch of information gathered there yeah. by the beast. <laughs> Why even put that spike there? Come on. <laughs> I mean, you saw the other levels, right? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Just rude. Yeah. Curb's getting another opportunity here at this third room. Yep, yeah. yeah, and the checkpoint is right Ooh. after this, so if he pulled this off, would be huge for Team Perchance. Yeah, and then just like that, they're right back in it, you know? Does grab the key. Ooh, yep. Ooh. a time, take a beat. Wait it out. Going. Oh, 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 a little late on the spin jump there. Again, we talked about it. This is a weird new mechanic that these players just have never seen before. Yeah. yeah. That timing is going to be difficult. Yeah, especially just coming out of the side there, just right underneath you. It's, it's tough to keep up. Let's see if Shoujo can get him there. All right, I think Panga had a really good shot at this uh, vertical section earlier, yeah, too. Yeah, he Maybe got pretty far. Out, yeah. Ruby, you maybe got another donation you want to sell us? You got it. I have a donation for $50 from Rulia saying, Sam, I may have been watching SVDQ Ooh. since 2013, but this is my first time donating in honor of you, my friend. You're going to do great things. You also better be watching and waiting for this. <laughs> Pango, back to the same spot the Beast Avoid was at before. Spike. Oh, oh like need sure. gonna, that Goomba. Yep. Reuse the Goomba there. Exactly. Now I know what the spike's for. <laughs> <laughs> it would definitely be out of character for these creators to throw a random spike for no reason. <laughs> this is an endless after all. Oh. Another tough level. We got two minutes left to see if somebody can clutch out a point here for their team. Dan back at that room again. Yep. We'll see if he can pull it off. He got pretty far before. Yeah, I had it last time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I gotta I gotta say, I'm gonna call it. Dan's gonna make this. I believe. Yep. Oh, oh just barely off there. It's a great try. Gotta be just a few pixels at most there. All right, one Making more time. Ledge. Casper here for crushing turds. They they have all the knowledge here. Yeah, they, they've seen the end. Uh, yeah, they're they're ready to go here. They have yeah. all the knowledge. Only a minute and a half left here. Yeah. And Team Perchance has seen the end too because they're good at screen peeking. Yeah, yeah, they definitely look at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got you got to think if Team Perchance has an opportunity here, they might be able to one shot this final section. All right, Peng on a great run. He knows all the knowledge, yeah, too. Yeah, Penga knows exactly yep. how this is supposed to go. It's the jump. Over. Spin. spin. There it is. Caught that. Spin, spin again. again. Looks like we got a little stall section here. Oh! oh iframes, can he make oh. it? No! Oh, my God! Oh, he gets another one! Oh, my God! And he makes it! Oh, is my it the God! End? There's the axe. Oh, there it play. is! Panga clutching. What a play! Oh my god, I didn't even see that other helmet. <laughs> Where did it even come from? <laughs> what a play by Panga. 
That's insane. <laughs> I'll give you guys the tiniest bit of lore here. That first helmet was supposed to be another stall, and Tanga saw the opportunity and got it, and then that last helmet's what you're He's supposed to be. He's too good, man. I'm saying, He's to see too that good. kind of window in the moment like that is yeah. wild. Oh, my god! Yeah. Just like that, we're tied up at two, man. Two and two. What a clutch moment. Alrighty, let's get on to level number seven here. This is another one of the most creative creators out there. This is from Donkey Man, another SMW. Oh, I love Donkey Man. Uh, this is so great. Uh, it's called Orange You Glad. Uh, this gimmick involves an on-off screen machine that changes the on-off state as well. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at that, though, because like many great creators, Donkey Man does a fantastic job of teaching the player what's happening at the start of the level. Let's see if the players can figure it out and what they think of it. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's count it in here. Three, Three two, two, one, go! go! Ruby, you want to pop off a donation real quick? Absolutely. Uh, we have $250 from Arcomb saying, come on, chat, we need to see that Breath of the Wild run. And don't forget to set your donations to also go towards Windbomb and BLSS showcases or towards making Poo play Fly Me to the Stars. I mean, we don't... <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, okay? <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't realize that that incentive got accepted. So uh, I haven't played that game in two and a half months. <laughs> so, um, if so we you, definitely want to see. Yeah, it. Yeah, so we want to see it. You can, you, that's what, that's you, what we're if saying. You, if you want this marathon to last all week, then yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these reads from Fab here. Incredible. As soon as we get out of here, I'm going hardcore practice. So I really need that Breath of the Wild run to get back. <laughs> is what I'm saying. <laughs> really gonna need those two hours. And yeah. if you guys haven't uh, picked up on this yet, the gimmick here is the machine off screens where anytime you're throwing an item up into that orange semi solid area, it's changed the on off state. And then it comes back out when it's out of there. So, uh, yeah, just some more Mario Maker magic here from these super creative, talented guys. It really is magic. Yes. It's, uh, yeah, it's truly magic. Nice reads. Close. Ah, you Good see stuff. right there. Again, this is one of those things where you just... It's so hard to, like, learn this on the fly yeah. when you've been playing a game for four or five years. You've got thousands of hours, and it just completely changes how on-off switches even work. Yeah, it's almost like those thousands of hours, like, work against you in that moment because yeah. you're so used to it doing other stuff that now it's doing something completely different. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so much Kaizo is just, you know, just one way to do it, keep going. But then when you throw in these brand new gimmicks here, it can just really throw you for a loop. And this one's so cool. Yeah. But these are some of the best players, so if anyone can do this, it's these people. Oh, just a little too Yeah, that loop back around to jump up top to, like, double hit that switch. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah, Donkey Man is just so good at this kind of stuff. They definitely have a style that is all their own. If I came across a level of documents, I can say right away, oh, I know who made this even without seeing the name. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, I don't know if I've ever played a document level and not gone, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. You know? They're so good at taking a concept they have and then just really extrapolating that oh, out. The beast juggling. Beast. Insane Reads gets the spin jump there. Nice. Lining it up. So cool. Bringing the pow out of that there. Oh my god. The piece is going on a run oh right gosh. now. Drop it, drop it, drop, drop it, it, drop oh. it. Oh. <laughs> Realized right at the yeah. end there actually needed to drop the spring. Yeah, what? and you can actually drop items through the. Oh, actually, that might be the other. This is game. like hurting my brain, and I'm just watching. I can't imagine trying to play this. Yeah. <laughs> the, the reads on this are yeah. incredible. Both teams neck and neck here yeah, on this almost run. Almost identical screens oh. right now. But a little more knowledge, it looks like, for Team Crush and Turds. Arditor on a uh, bit of a run here. <laughs> Order taking the safer route right there. And he knows about the spring drop here. Yeah. Goes for the kick. Nice. The P jump. Oh! Nice. Oh! oh, but throws the pals, maybe? And there it is. Oh, wow. So cool. So oh, cool. Very cool. Much. So cool. Nice reads. And big reads there from Arter securing the checkpoint for Team Crush and Turts. Oh, I really like this yeah. section now. And see how oh, that wow. Transition yeah. taught Aura like how to get rid of those pals off screen right into yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. 
This is this is so cool. Isn't it fun? <laughs> I keep saying that, but yeah. I mean, I just keep getting more and more impressed by what yeah. I'm seeing here. Yeah, I like how the first one is keep everything, and now we're in getting rid of it. Yeah. I was about to say use those keys. Yep, yeah, there that's you a go. Smart move. And he's still going. This is that same run. Arter. Is there any more level? He's right. he's gone pretty far. There can't be much left. Wow. That was a one shot to checkpoint yeah. too. Really wow. amazing. Another teaching moment here. So it looks like if you put something in Yoshi's mouth, it also counts as off screen. Oh, oh wow. wow. Um uh, I don't know can, if that was intended. He can maybe make this. There it is. Wow. Oh, wow. oh realizing, yeah, you still need Yoshi. Meanwhile, there. though, Riles on Team for Chance looking like might be able to make the checkpoint as well. Realizes with the pals. There nice it is. Nicely there done, Riles. Riley. Nicely done. Oh, uh, I think Casper having the right idea here. Yep. Oh, that hitbox. That's brutal. Good reads, though. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I was looking. I was looking at it at first, and I had no idea what you were actually supposed to do in this right. Yoshi section. So, um, but yeah, just using the saws. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Panga getting that spring back a little too early. <laughs> <laughs> and again, these guys are in constant communication. Like just a second ago, I heard throw it off. Like the players telling yep. each other what to do to help make each section as easy as possible. Thab. Thab with insane reads right now. Truly. Ooh, and the oh, and the dog. Oh gosh. my gosh. Oh my gosh, Thab. Brings the screen. Sees the Yoshi, gets the jump. Throws it up. Oh! oh didn't see the Yoshi until the last second there. But oh no. Insane reads. Wow. Thab is on one. I feel like he understands this level right yeah, now. Yeah, this is definitely vibing with him. It really feels like like that, that switch just turned on. Like he just knows now, you know? And Shoujo looks like they're about to clutch the checkpoint out for, uh, yep, for yep. a chance as well. Got it. Oh. oh. And that's going to be checkpoint two for, yep, for chance. And, and just like that, we're just back like to that, we're, Yep, we're back to even here. Now, how much screen watching has Perchance done so far? How much are they going to know? How much knowledge is Shoujo Art? Looks like a lot. Looks like a lot. <laughs> looks, looks, like looks like a like lot. All of it. Yeah. <laughs> looks like yeah, a that's lot just, of it. That's part of the game. Yeah. yeah. And Shoujo, Shoujo right with now. crazy reads. Just back where Thab was. Yep, yep. Gets the throw. She Sees knows. the Yoshi. Oh, oh goes for the screen. To do, yeah. but that. Hopefully, wow. Carson Turtz was watching. Were yeah. they watching? I, I, I saw Thab just look back, and we've seen Thab get there before. I saw him yeah. look back. I think he knows what to do. I think Shojo might have given him the information he needs. Meanwhile, <laughs> only one minute left. True. Oh yeah. wow! I didn't realize it's already been this seven minutes so here. Cool. This yeah, been so I know. Exciting, I'm just like honestly. locked yeah. on the screen, you know. Yeah. I think we can maybe see a clutch here. Thab. Getting back to that section he was at before. Here we go. He's gonna go back. It's the Yoshi. Gets, Gets the, spring. the spring. There's the throw. Oh! Oh, oh it's a big He's jump. To grab the pal. Oh! oh! That's it. it. Oh my God! And there it is. With 14 seconds left. Insane stuff from the beast. Yeah. That machine switches so quick. I'm pretty sure Thab got a frame perfect second wow. jump there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He made that look easy. He did. Wow. And just Woo. like that. Three to two. Three to two. All right. Let's what get on to our last level here. It is uh, Team Per Chance's chance to hopefully tie this up. All right. This last level is made by Samwell. It's called Portal 2. This is another mind boggler, folks. Uh, somehow Sam has figured out that in the editor you can lay down items, undo stuff, put them there, undo them again. I don't know what they're doing at all, but either way, he somehow ripped some uh, hole in the space-time Mario continuum, and we have teleportation here potentially. Let's get it going here. Three, Three two, two, one, go! You gotta be thinking with portals on this level. Yep. And, and when we talk about you wanna download these really fast... This is one of those this ones. <laughs> This level might make it a few hours on the server. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Have fun with this, guys. I mean, what, what, what is going on? I genuinely don't know. Go in the tube. What? 
<laughs> this is blowing my mind. I'm saying. I'm this saying. is blowing my mind. Can I just say reads by both teams to get yeah. that right there? Yeah. That was wild. Yeah, it made it seem like they knew exactly what to do. <laughs> Amazing reaction. Like, oh yeah, you, you're supposed to teleport over here. What are you talking about? Yeah. The level just said that. Yeah. It was in the name, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh good. good stuff by Shoujo. Shoujo. Oh, gets the <laughs> checkpoint. Already. Oh, my God. It's still going what here. What is going on? What is happening? Where, is. where are you going? Yeah, yeah she's still going. Oh, my God. Woo. That might be one of the most insane things I've ever seen in this game. Yeah. <laughs> How did she know? How is she know. doing that? I don't know. That's, that is blind faith in the creator. If I go to the pipe, I'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting deja vu from last year. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have time for a few donations? Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. We have a donation for $25 from Dr. No saying, I'm a simple person. I hear I can make poo play a hard game. I give money to charity. <laughs> Do it for the people and let's get two mil. Again, we are trying to get to that two million so we can see the Breath of the Wild blindfolded run. So keep those donations coming in. And another $250 donation from Thomas saying, paying my week's worth of Tears of the oh. Kingdom taxes. Let's hit that two million. I don't know if you guys saw there, but the Beast catching his team right back up. We're neck and neck here. Yeah, and getting some information that we haven't yeah. seen before yet. Almost getting in that pipe. Just was a little slow on that thwomp coming. You know, the Beast is, and we've seen him make some really, really great reads today, and I can't help but think about the fact that he's playing through every N64 game right now. <laughs> At the his... same time? Well, no, I mean, he, he has a series where he's playing through every N64 game. I mean, he's seen some crazy things in that time. I have to think that's helping his blind reads. Oh, for know? sure, for yeah. sure. Which, by the way, you can check out on his uh, Twitch and YouTube channels. Check him out. Check all these guys out, honestly. Yeah, yeah. every one of these people up here streams. All right, get a little bit of information. You see that communication with Perchance over here. Yeah. Trying to tie it up. Lots of communication happening yeah. with Team Perchance. They are in constant dialogue. Yeah, they were in the practice room for hours earlier, just hammering everything out. And Crush and Turts just seems to have this sort of brainwave connection. They don't even they don't even need to communicate. It's they amazing. just they just know. It's you know, amazing. You know, they're they're they have three veterans on their team. Exactly. You know? they have, they, they've done this before. Speaking of Team Crush and yeah. Turts, though, getting a new section. Uh, uh, how does this work? I don't know. And there's the checkpoint. Oh, oh. Look at the spin. That was so close. Realized just at the last second, they're a yeah. little too late. And that is going to send them all the way back. This is so wild. I don't know what's going on. Here we go. We've got little curbs making it into the yep. sub world as well now. Let's see if you can get those same reads. That is nice so stuff. cool. That is so cool. It really is. Make sure you make another copy of this so I can download it Monday, you know? <laughs> it, you yeah, honestly, yeah. same. Oh. Oh. It's a little hesitation there. All right, and then Thab Meanwhile, crushing turts. Yeah, Thab saw what yeah, to do there. Thab has the information, knows. Intel gathered. Ready. It's the spin, spin two. There you go, just and like that. And that's going to be a checkpoint. I, there yeah. it is. Yeah. Good stuff. Respectable. And that was checkpoint two, right? Yep. So. Yeah. Really seeing Thab heat up here in these. Oh! Lines. Thab passing it right to order. We had a huge donation come in. Ruby Do we have a second? Yes. Amazing. We have a $10,000 donation from the Yeti. Woo! Saying, hey all, Yeti here. This donation brings our total for the event to 111 k from the official SGDQ collection at theyeti.com. Thank you to everyone who has ordered items. Your purchases make these donations possible. We've locked onto our screens. Such an amazing race happening here. What an incredible night for speedrunning. Can we please, please, please make SGDQ longer? Put this 10,000 towards the Breath of the Wild bonus game. Let's go, Chevs. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. I want to see the blindfolded Cryonis win bomb really bad. I, I think that'd be amazing. Yeah. All right, both teams are pretty neck and neck here. During that donation, per chance was able to catch back up with that CP. Oh. Ooh. And I believe that pipe right there is the first time they're seeing that too, so. Yeah. Getting pretty deep in this level. Both teams about five seconds apart here. <laughs> My eyes are just darting back and forth. I there. know, right? 
All right, Curbs, taking a moment to think about what he's oh doing right there. Oh, my God, that spin jump. That was uh, crazy, dude. Five minutes, 30 seconds gone by right now. Yeah, this last section's really tricky, but I think they've got just enough time to pull a W out on one of these teams here. This is so cool. <laughs> This spin jump coming up here for Team for Chance. Look at this. That is crazy. Yeah, somehow threw that Goomba just a little too far there. I think they're all sort of seeing it now. Oh, uh, yeah. You want to come yeah. spinning through. It's cool that these teleportations oh, so it, save your spin. It saves your spin that, jump. Yes. I, was, I was like, how are they getting through that? Yes. It saves your spin. You're not actually going through the right. pipe. They're, yeah, they're totally teleporting you. It's one of those things. Like, actually, it's so uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like we were talking about, like when you go through a pipe, you don't think, oh, I can just save the spin jump, you yeah. know? <laughs> They're not listening to us. No. <laughs> yeah, <that's what> <laughs> yeah, they don't worry us. about it. Which is great because we're just talking about what to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ruby, do you got one more donation you want to get for us real oh, quick? Oh, absolutely. We have a $25 donation from Johnny B saying, okay, GDQ, we've got like an hour left to get to 2 million. Oh. Yeah. If we don't get to 2 million, Ganon will, will conquer Hyrule. Do we want to let that happen? No. And that oh, means GDQ oh, oh, cool. this out. There are 70,000 people watching. Oh, if we God. all give $5, we can make it happen. So let's do it, Twitch Can chat. Let's there. do it, GDQ. It's time to dig deep and oh, make it happen. Tango with an insane play there. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe he just cheesed that. There was an on-off up there, and Panga just said, nope, uh -huh. I'm going to do it my way. He's too good. Are you ready? Yes, GDQ, are you, what are we going to be ready yeah. for? What have we not already is seen? What is going to happen? What is... Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> What is happening? Oh I didn't see up five. There's just no way. But there's more. How can there possibly be? What How can there doing? be more? What? Whoa! <laughs> Mid-air lol. <laughs> Meanwhile, Curbs Wait, right, Curbs right back there as well. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> With every attempt there by Panga, Curbs is closing the gap at a rapid rate here. Oh, oh, the up throw. And he gets... And here we go. Who's Curbs is here too now. Who could... It could go either way. Curbs oh, gets it. 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 Curbs gets it. There's no way. Wow. That is insane. Wow. And look at the time. Look at the, look time. At the time. Five seconds oh to spare. That might be one of the Crazy most things stuff. I've ever seen. Oh, my God. You can't write this stuff. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, what a checkpoint there by Little Kurt. That was insane. Wow. He made that look easy. That was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. A hey, first try. First yeah, first try, try first try. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Impressive. That was so good. So explain how we're going to do it now. Okay, um, this is actually the last level of the first section here. This is a co-op level, and uh, I, I actually made this with my good buddy, Big Red Boy, who was sitting with me here last year. Um, Thank you, yeah. This is a uh, collab level we built together, and it's also a collab level, or co-op, I suppose, with the players, too. Each team is picking two of their representatives to play this level. They will need to work together to beat this. And uh, since they're both tied up now, winner of this is going to get a 20-second time bonus going into the finale. So this is actually a very important level. Yeah, I didn't even realize it was 3-3. Three to three. Yeah. They've been neck and neck this whole time. Yep. Yeah. This is huge right here. Team Crushing Turks, we're going with the Beast and Aura right there, bringing on the Vets. I'm bringing in the Vets right now for it. And for Team Perchance, it looks like we've got, uh, we've got Lil Curbs and Shoujo. Absolutely. All right, are y'all ready to see this co-op level and see how these guys work together? Let's do it. Cool, I'm gonna count y'all in. It's three, two, two one, one, go! go. I love I am this so is so excited. cool. I'm so happy to finally see co-op. I've been pushing first mode in co-op a lot. So in these, so I'm really, really excited. Yeah, so if yeah. you've never seen this before, one of the cool things about playing in co-op is that the players can actually interact with each other. You can jump off each other's heads, you yep. can pick them up, you can throw them. No, no. What? No, just keep going. The bubble. The bubble. There's actually no bubble on this, oh, by the no way. Bubble. No bubble. Yeah, if you die, yeah. We uh because of how local mode is set up, yeah, you'll have to go together, yeah. No bubble. You cannot leave your teammate behind. So it looks like Mario dropping the spring. Almost. Figuring out what to do there. They're learning. Nice. They're learning fast. Yeah. 
You see a lot of co-op levels out there too where uh, each player has sort of their own lane they're doing for each other. Yeah, uh, they can have roles. Exactly. Yeah. Our idea with this one is that there's not necessarily a clear, distinct role that each player would kind of just find what they're comfortable doing and uh, help each other out, you know? Ooh, and then... I really like what you did here with it. Yeah, a lot. Thank you, yeah. And then both teams there, looks like they opted to uh, kill the big buzzy there, and then their teammate had nothing to land on. <laughs> kind of important to take yeah. a teammate with you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've seen a lot of variation of co-op levels, but, I mean, one of the real problems with building co-op levels is you can't do it online. Yeah. So you, you can't practice them online or All anything. You can't build them with a friend online. So you kind of have to be physically with someone. Totally. To build one. Yeah. 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 There is a version of this though that has a different start um, where you can play this online. Cool. Um, you need to have a good connection on the internet, otherwise it can lag, which is not as fun. But uh, we do have a special version uploaded that'll be tweeted out for people that do want to try this out. This is so cool too. It looks like there's always something going on for both players simultaneously. Yeah. I love this a lot. <clears throat> I thought you said no bubble. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just said no bubble. <clears throat> I was just, about to uh, say, I was like, I was like I'm pretty sure there's no bubble. Yeah, you might be right on that one. <laughs> for for this stuff, race. though, Team for Chance. <laughs> Taking it to the vine chance, section here. Oh. oh. Missed him. Do we have time for a few donations yes, here? Yes, yeah. Amazing. Uh, we have a $1,500 donation from uh, Adam Man Toys 17 saying, we gotta see that blindfolded Breath of the Wild run. Come on, Twitch chat, we can do this. And as an update there, we are at uh, $1,742,000. So we are getting so close to that goal. I'm not gonna run Fly Me to the Stars if I don't see Breath of the Wild. I'm just gonna say it, all right? Yep, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> there it is. Yep, yep, sorry guys. Oh, and we've got oh, a wow. jungle section here with the Yoshi. Look at these two Look guys. at wow. that. Wow, that was Just so left cool. Luigi behind. <laughs> just no. Uh, it's all right, he's, he's back. back. He's back. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no, you needed Luigi for yeah. the bomb. But a lot of knowledge gathered there. Totally, yeah. <laughs> Huge amount of knowledge. Super cute. Yeah, that juggling on the vine. I love that. I think Team Crush and Turtles actually could have used the turtle right there. Or the, not the turtle, the um, bubble, sorry. And we've even had, I mean, we've had variations of this. We've even had um, solo co-op levels made in Mario Maker pretty famously, where one, one player has to literally carry the other one through. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. are fun as well. Yeah. We might see a little bit of that in this one too here. Ooh. Here we go. Here we another, go. Another shot at it here. Oh. Nice. Oh, oh so close. A team for <laughs> chance. Had it. They just didn't know where to. They're figuring out what to do here. Meanwhile, Team Crush and Turts getting the juggle, but will they have time? Oh. A lot of good information. Though. But a lot, right intel. In a lot yep. of intel. A lot of intel. Now, one of the advantages here. Um, is that these players get to, they're not passing the controller now, so they can really get in a groove. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And that's what we thought would be best for a co-op, because if you're passing the controller and trying to figure roles out, that might just be so much to ask. So you really want to pick your two, your two teammates that you have the most confidence in here. And as these guys are playing through, I'm sure they're figuring out like, okay, you do this section, I do this one. Yep. They're, they're figuring it all out as they go, which is really cool to see. That right, on-the-fly planning. Let's see can do here. Trying to time the Yoshi, there it is. <laughs> Drops him. Oh. Nice. Oh, okay. realizes last yep. minute, yeah, though. Needs to throw the bomb up. Got to pass it up. It's a double game. Oh, and they get a chance at it, too. Here, here we go. Oh, oh no. but he misses the Yoshi jump. Yoshi ditch. I didn't realize that it was a double gate there until the last second, either. It's a tricky one. But I think now both teams know exactly what yeah. to do because they were both just right at that exact section. Just a matter of execution now. Yep, yep. Yeah. If uh, Casper and Panga, these, these players behind, they should be doing a, a large amount of screen watching <laughs> and really, really... <laughs> yeah, right when you said that, Panga looked on. over. <laughs> it's Riley's really, on defense. <laughs> yeah, expressing what's going on. Another chance here. Oh! oh. And just like that, Turtz has a chance to take it. Gets the jump. Oh, but oh, the Yoshi. Exact thing. And Aura side-eyed beast right there. Like, where <laughs> were you? <laughs> we have time for some more donations yeah. here. 
Amazing. We have $250 from Anonymous saying, took me forever to finish this donation because I can't take my eyes off this race. And unlike Bubsia, I need to see what I'm doing. Oh, right. They did the blindfold of Bubsia. Yeah. That's awesome. that was sick. Yeah, and that juggling section on the vines, like, they're making it look easy, but it's hard. Like, yeah, you have to tough. stop to make sure that the guy above you yeah. has a spot to jump on. Russian turds with go. an opportunity yes, here. Do they know? Throw Throws the bomb, drops it down. And they're in. And they're wow. in. The door. But are they done, though? The real question. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what do we have here? Hey, hey, there it is. Team Crush inserts. And Team Perchance right there as well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they said we're going down together. <laughs> awesome. Great work, guys. That was awesome. All right. So what do right. we, got? What do we right. got lined up here? We are into the finale now. And I believe Team Crush and Turts took that win and is going to get uh, a 20 second 20 time second. bonus. Yeah. So uh, Team Perchance will not be able to start this uh, final section for 20 seconds. It gives a little head start to uh, the turrets. All right, so these next five levels are all going to be played back to back. Players are going to rotate on death and victory just like before, but we will not be taking breaks between levels. This is just going to be a sort of marathon blast through quick one section levels. Winner take all and we'll be crowned the SGDQ 2023 champs. Yeah, yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Quick shout out to the creators here, Death the Spies, Eli, DPC, Josh Bones, and Sauce Powder for making these awesome levels. And I think with that being said, let's just jump right into this. Three, Three two, two, one, go. go! And with the start of that, we just hit $1,758,000. Woo! That's right, we got a music level starting here. Team for chance now, hopping yep. in. And what a banger. Yeah, we all love a good music -na 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 -na. Does anybody know this song? I do know this. What is this? I know. I yeah, yeah, is yeah. It Sonic? It's, is it Sonic? It's I heard Sonic, like, right? like Jungle Javes? I, I heard that first. I, you know I don't it's know. Either There's Sonic, a lot going on. It's either Sonic or Donkey Kong Country. Because yeah, yeah. every song is one of those two. That is true. Yeah. All roads travel back yeah. to those. <laughs> there we go. Aura figuring out the uh, spring bounce there. <laughs> and Riley right behind him. Oh, oh nice wow. jump there. Wow. There we go. Can and Riley get it? Do. Yeah, gets it as well. Woo! These guys brought their A game today. Yeah. And that thwomp is on Aura there. Oh, a little, oh, a little a late. late a little late on the throw there. Yeah. The evenness of these two squads, though, you know? like I don't think we could have had better teams. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, these guys are crushing it. I believe Shubda came up with these uh, teams here. Shout out to Shubda. Shout outs to Shubda. Oh. I, I don't know if you noticed, but Team Perchance's chair situation is getting wilder as it goes on. Like, <laughs> That's how you know they're they, into it. They got yeah. leans going on. They got a whole thing. We just had another huge donation for $10,000 from Fangamer saying, hey, everybody, Fangamer here. We don't want SGDQ to end without seeing that Breath of the Wild run, and we definitely want to see those blindfolded showcases. Yes. Thanks to everyone who has oh, dropped wow. that Fangamer wow, nice SGDQ 2023 Russian official Kirk. merch collection for making awesome. this and every other donation we've sent possible. Now we need to reach that $2 million. Let's get a Blue Ruby $5 donation train going. Congrats for Beast there, knocking out the first of the level. In what two and a half minutes there for Team Crush? And yeah, Thirds? not even. Amazing. Not wow. even. Yeah, that was quick. So we've got a uh, new soup. Yep, and this one's by here. Eli. Looks like they're going to be using a lot of this uh, spike ball crushing blocks here. And I, I gotta say, I gotta say, uh, oh, but curbs too. in there. Wow, yep. yeah, nice job. Good stuff, nice curbs. curbs. Twenty seconds behind them. Did, I, you, did you guys see that? How they started twenty seconds later and beat it twenty seconds after. Wow, these, these teams crazy. Are like actually, so. 
evenly matched. And sorry, what were you just saying, Pooh? No, I was I was just going to talk about the proficiency of a lot of these players in New Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. I, we haven't been able to see that so far today, but I expect this one to be a very quick yeah, one. Yeah, is this our, is this yeah. our first new soup today? I think so, yeah. We've had a 3D world, and this is the new soup, yeah. And I think we have another one coming up, too. And one of the cool things about new soup is that ground pound cancel. Allows you to stall out in the air just a little bit longer. Totally. If you're waiting on something. And it's so satisfying when you hit them. It really is. Yeah, it feels so good. You know, it, new Super Mario Brothers, more than any of the other ones, can allow you to fix your mistakes. Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the movement you can have with it's so awesome. Some of the uh, some of the toughest and coolest looking Kaizo levels I've ever seen are definitely the new Super ones. Yeah, the ground pound cancels, those one-way wall jumps. Yeah. A lot of really cool tech in this oh. theme. Oh, just barely missing that. Good eye there by Beast, though. And these guys are still neck and neck. Like, there's no... It's hard to tell who's in the lead, honestly. Right, yeah. It's pretty evenly matched right now, which I, I think is so cool. Yeah, I'd give Crushing Turks just a little bit more knowledge right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe a couple more seconds. Yeah, definitely harder to screen watch as we're going, like, you know, multiple levels. You know, when players are on two different levels, it's going to make it difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Aura just a little bit late on the read there for getting that wall jump. They're so fast paced too. I know, yeah. And like, there's so much going on. You're trying to keep up with the spike ball. You got to yeah. get down off. There's a lot to look at here. Yeah. So even if you are screen peeking, yeah. sometimes it doesn't tell the whole story. It's demanding. Well, your eyeballs go back to the spike ball, but your eyeballs need to be forward. Right. Level, you know? Ruby, do you have one more you want to hit us with? Absolutely. We have a $1,000 donation from Calamity, Calamity Brandon, just saying <laughs> long. Uh, and we also have a $250 donation from Rem saying, Breath of the Wild, hype! Two million, hype! <laughs> Let's go, everybody. Yeah! Sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, in we're both, in a, we're both like in the gamer stance, yeah. just leaned in looking at the screen. Yeah, <laughs> like as team captains right now, I'm like, yes, this is the one that matters. Yeah, you know? Exactly. You yeah. never know which one is going to be the run. Yeah, uh, this is winner take all here. This is the finale. Yeah, this yeah. is it. You yeah. are only going for your time advantage. And as you see, Beast right there just told Aura a large piece of information on that death. Little He's curbs. out there, pointed at the screen. Yeah. I got to think that's going to be a, a helpful... Low Curves, curves making an insane amount of progress oh here gosh, for Team for Chance. Oh, the these spins are so good. Ooh, close oh, close on the icicle. And, oh, but the spike ball right at the end. Okay, and, and right there, Aura was watching. Aura just he let knows. his team know about the spike ball. Wow. Yeah, that's one of those things that uh, these teams are only going to let happen once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's one of those things where, you know, you're playing it casually. You're gonna, you're not going to hit that. Yeah, yeah. But here in a race where you, mm -hmm. you see the flagpole, you get excited. Throwing for content. Yeah. And you got the lights on, the camera. <laughs> like, you want to be the guy that hits that flagpole. You do, because uh, on Reddit later, they're going to have your stats. You true, know? <laughs> true. <laughs> got to think about the stats, the KDA, yeah, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. That's hilarious. All right. Looks like Panga, though, yeah. on a bit of a run for Team Crush and Turds. And he knows about that ending now. But, oh, oh a little late. Uh, a little late. That little ground pound cancel on accident. Dan got him. also going pretty far here. Oh. Tanuki, Dan. Yeah. Making progress. It up. Good stuff. Playing so great right now. Very clean gameplay coming out of Tanuki, Dan. The ground pound. Blooper hat on his head. Makes it. Gets a Only a few more here. jumps here. Patience. And will he remember the spike patient. ball? There it is. Oh. And there it is. Played it nice and safe. There you go, Team Dan. for chance back in the lead. Well played, Dan. Just like that. All right, now they're moving on to DPC's level, level three. Let's see what DPC has in store for us. And another 3D world level. Yep. Fast I love 3D line. world. Well, that like makes Arter, least one of us. Making it to the end. Waits and it out. Plays it safe. There it is. Aura right behind behind Aura. Casper swapping in here for Team Crush and Turks. Now, this is an opportunity right here while they're switching to get some knowledge. And while wow, this, this level's really cool, those helmets, we haven't seen those yet. Yeah. Of course, added to the final um, 
DLC package that Mario Maker 2 ever got 95 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it really feels like that sometimes. So long ago. <laughs> Truly. One more. Maybe Nintendo, one more, please. Maybe. I'll tell you what, I would make some more levels with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. item, anything. Truly. I mean, you see what these guys are doing without DLC. Imagine, right. <laughs> imagine if there was. I'd take a new oh, background at this point. Shoujo with Shoujo. a nice read here. Good progress. And yeah, even though you keep the power up there, if you've got a mask on and you hit those spikes, you will lose that no taking damage clear condition. We have time for another donation yeah. here? Yeah. Absolutely. We have $25 from Kamikaze28 saying, donate to make SGDQ longer? Yes, chef. Run, yes, run 10 k before breakfast? Yes, chef. Let Bubsy a cook. <laughs> Thank you, chefs. <laughs> so if you're a little late on that cat dive on the bully, instead of getting that uh, upward momentum, it'll just knock you straight into the ground. Yeah, this is a tough one. A lot of quick, uh, quick hat switching, a lot of stuff to keep track of here. I would definitely struggle with something like this. Yeah, it's it looks really cool when it all comes together, but trying to right. read all of that yeah. is yeah. very difficult. Yeah, very difficult. There's a lot going on here. You see Kerbs trying, trying to get, trying to get intel, knowledge. yeah. Yep. That's a, a strategy that we haven't seen too much here, yeah. because normally it kills you, but... Right, and this is level you can keep going. Yeah, you lose yeah. that clear condition, but you can just keep going. Right. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. I think the knowledge there is more important than just doing a flip real quick. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. I mean, you could have all the technical skill in the world, but if you don't know what to do in the level, you know, how are you going to finish? Yeah. Right. Let's go right here again. This is level three of five. Yep. Yeah, and we are still basically neck and neck here. <laughs> and this is definitely going to be, I believe, one of the tougher ones on here. These players... Ten minutes down. We're just like full gamer pose, like yeah, yeah, locked no. in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can't see us off camera, but the, uh, us as team captains, we are literally in gamer mode yeah. right now. Yeah, the rivalry is real. Yeah. And Ruby, you got one more for us? Oh, absolutely I do. We have $500 from Unexplored Blue saying, paying my tears of the kingdom tax for all of this week so that Breath of the Wild can get its time to shine. Woo Good stuff. Yeah, I would love to see that run. I mean, such a big game like Breath of the Wild done blindfolded. That's insane. It's wild. Oh, tough. And yeah, it looks like they're getting hung up on that section when you go back up and around left. Yeah. Very trippy. I oh. saw this uh, video of this level when it came and I thought, oh man, I'm glad I'm not playing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I saw you guys in the Discord talking about like the level of gameplay of these guys, you know? And I agree, I think this is the highest level of gameplay, like the highest level talent we've ever had in this event, as we see Team Perchance getting a lot of that knowledge. That was a, a lot of knowledge of info, there. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, a long jump there, and I think they were in. Yeah, finally Team Prussian Turts, I think, realizes you have to use the hat again when you're climbing after the uh, Cat Mario section. Yep. So you don't hit the Goomba. Yeah, uh, and it's so hard because all these hats are so unique and you're just getting them so quick to just kind of remember what can I do right now. Yeah, a lot of moving parts all coming together yeah. at the same time. Yep. And if you're holding those buttons, whenever you grab a different one, then the effect of that one will also activate. So you yeah. gotta let go at the right time, you gotta hit the right buttons. It's it's hard. It's hard. A lot, a lot to take in all in a short period of time. Not just to mention it's it's a busy, overly red level. Yeah. That too. A lot going on. <laughs> Very red. I hear Red the spikes. audience is chanting Casper out there. Casper on a run. And oh, unfortunately, uh, just use that third hat fly too early. Yeah, you really have to think about those twirls. Yeah, yeah they got the right idea, though. All right, and Shoujo made wild progress last time. Let's see what she can do again here. You hear, the, you hear these fans out there rooting for their favorite players, rooting for their favorite team. Who do y'all think is going to win this race out there? Ooh. Oh, Shoujo. Shoujo again. 
Gets the long jump, the wall climb. Oh, oh they see the pipe. And it looks like you're gonna have to stay on that wall. And move, move up, up and down, down with yep, the cat. Exactly. Yeah. So still very good knowledge to be uh, collected there. Yeah, still it's very tough to execute on this one, even knowing everything. The beast now but on a bit of a run. The beast. The beast. Oh, no. sees the cat dive back, yeah. but just a little too late there. Thab is a very experienced 3D World player. Thab is one of the ones that can uh, play all these different themes and just seems to have no problem going back and forth. Yeah, they just like change between themes and have no issue, even though they're all very yeah. different. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, actually. Oh, what a level right here. Yeah. Well, we got to think whoever can get this level this is, is a going big to have. Yeah, yeah, this is a big one. This, this might be one. the level that makes and breaks. Yeah, the next two are definitely not as demanding. Both teams are about an even run here. And unfortunately, Casper is not on. able to get up there. That Meanwhile, section tricky. Team Perchance seems like they have that section down. Yeah. It's just going to be a matter of time before they can get it. But again, oh, an unfortunate ricochet there. Yeah. They don't call them bullies for nothing. That's true. That is... God, the, the chance, the chance are here. Yeah. Woo! The crowd remembering her dominance last year. Got a large cheering section out there. The future of Mario Shoujo with a large. We'll see what she can do here. Gets the jump. Okay. She knows. Oh. Waiting, waiting into the pipe. But there's more. There's more. Wow. How, How is, is there, there more? more? How is there more? Oh my, oh my God! God. The it. one shot. But is there more? This might be it. Don't get bored. And there it is, Jojo. Getting level Woo. three for Team for Chats. Wow. That was right there too. He that just was got big. Kicked off. That was massive. That was big. All right, they're moving on to the fourth level here from Josh Bones, another awesome creator. Yeah, and you see Casper already. Now this is a tough spot where Team Crush and Church, because they got to pay attention to what they're doing. Yeah, they still have to do the level. Yeah. But they want to get as much knowledge on what's happening over there on the right, right as well. Because they are going to have to make the comeback now. Team crushing turts as you see Casper coming in. But immediately going into this new level, you know, I'm, we're just hearing the communication. Like they are dissecting this thing fast. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you see right here, little curbs and shoujo been in each other's ear all night, helping each other with knowledge. And unfortunately, that thwomp really fast there for Casper. Yeah. I didn't even see the clear condition. It's one of those ones you just have to stall in the air the whole time. Exactly. You get exactly. that one jump, and then that's it. Never touch the ground. And it's funny you say you didn't see the clear condition because it is so difficult to remember it, even though it's right in your face all the time. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. But Josh Bones here has a setup where the player doesn't have to jump in front of it immediately, which is great. You can actually see what you're doing. Meanwhile, Panga on a bit of a run here yep. for Team Turds. Does he get it? He goes in. Still has the clear condition. No! Oh, gets rejected by the bully there. The tiniest uh, bit early. But I believe that's the first time they made it there. So they're making yeah. big yeah. progress. They're, they're catching up fast. And again, this is a situation where if they're paying attention, they can really gain a lot of knowledge here and just kind of catch right back up. Yep. Yeah, one of the downsides to being in the lead on these blind races is you're, you're the guys in charge of figuring out what's going on, you know? Yeah. Like, you're seeing this for the first time. And you're trying to figure out, do I jump here? Do I use the fire flower here, you know? Nice, gets that on the right side there. Just a little late on that drop there for perchance. Yeah, it's gonna be very, very, very tough. They have to catch the boot, like right on top of oh, the spike. It's, yeah. it's, that's tough timing, because that yeah. boot's not like flying up. All right, let's see if Casper can get about us this third section here. So we got Riles here, again, making his GDQ debut here in the Mario Maker Relay race. One of the best players out there, well-deserved. Good stuff by Curbs here. Nice. It's the jump, oh, nice. Progress, it's a little late on that shot. 
Ruby, do you have another donation for us you want to say? Oh, you bet I do. We have a $425 donation from Solid Parallel saying, my first in-person GDQ has been amazing and absolutely worth the trip. Now we just need to bring my favorite runner to the stage for the blindfolded Breath of the Wild run. Beast Ganon will fall to us tonight. Tanga on a bit of a run here. Does he nice. get it? He does get it for Team nice. Crush and Turks. Just like that, they're back in it. All Don't get bullied. Sudden. There you go. There it is. Well played to Panga. Yep. Bringing him right back in. That is a tough level. Yeah. I'm yeah. impressed. That, yeah. To be able to do that as quickly as they all did, you know, yeah. that is, that's amazing. And now right here, we're really going to see how much knowledge they gained. Are they going to be able to catch right back up? Are we right back to even? Yeah, because Perchance has made pretty good progress, but they're still, I mean, right, right towards the beginning of the level. Yeah. You could see Crush and Turds catch up at a rapid rate, and as we're kind of seeing see, it right yeah, now. As you see Beast, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yep. We are essentially back in a virtual tie here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I was a little unsure after that other one. Would that be it? But no, clearly not. These guys are not done just yet. And you see Curbs taking advantage here, running ahead and seeing what's going on. Yeah, and that, that's the whole level right that's there. The he does level, see the flagpole. So, yep. And I really like that. I think that's a very smart move to just take the opportunity. Just even if you don't know what you're doing, yeah, you see where just it's going see. on. Yeah. yeah, you just see it. So valuable. And even though you can't get the clear in that moment, those few seconds that you're taking to look at the level could be the difference in getting the clear on the next run. You know? Can I just say this level's adorable, by the way? Yeah, isn't that fun? Yeah, I like it. Really cool. Everyone loves Mario in a boot. I, I wish the boot was in every, like, not just in every They should. Party. Gosh. I've been saying that for months. That would be so sick. It would be so good. Yeah. Like, if you got the Yoshi and the boot in one level. Yes. Oh. Could you be Yoshi in a boot? Yes. Yeah, that's what we're saying. He'd be, be so great. He'd be just so a stack. Cute. He'd be so cute in a boot. Just stack them up. Are you listening, Nintendo? Maker 3. Yoshi in a boot. <laughs> that's all we're asking for. That's all we want. That's all we lot. want. It's not a lot. <laughs> I mean, that and online, that works. And yeah. uh, anyway, <laughs> what a race this is going on here. The shade. Good stuff by Let's Casper see. there. Yeah, Casper just not realizing that you got to drop back on that plant. Yeah. Sorry, I'm on one tonight, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we love it. That's what a captain needs to do. It needs to be there for his team, excited. <laughs> on the court, throwing the clipboard. <laughs> Ruby, you got another one for us? You bet I do. We have $5 from the Maverick Girl saying, Hey, chat, did you know that if every person watching GDQ right now donated $5, we'd get over $350,000 and would put us well over the $2 million for that amazing blindfolded Breath of the Wild Ooh, run. Louise. Let's get a big $5 dono train going and see that run. Sorry, I'm just like I'm just like so into it right now. <laughs> yeah. This is so so crazy. In that case, do we have time for a few more donations? Please, yeah. yeah, please, yeah, please. Amazing. So we have a celebrity in the audience. We have 5678 from Taspot saying, Taspot, Taspot here. Taspot. I am in the audience thanks to Taters and crew. I play games blind. I cannot see the screen. I want to see Breath of the Wild play without the player seeing the screen. The humans are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's uh, one of my favorite things is that I have, like, I have a Rob the Robot in my background. And yeah. nobody knows it's Rob the Robot. Everyone thinks it's literally Taskbot. Really? In my they come background. in and they're like, yeah. oh, it's Taskbot. Yeah, oh, you have Taskbot <laughs> lives with you? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that blindfolded run seems crazy, by the way. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a blindfolded run, but you don't want to miss it. I'll just say that I, much. I don't understand how they're doing Breath of the Wild. I don't like Yeah, I don't. That game i don't get how you it's do so it huge yeah. right it's yeah. so huge well because like a lot of like when you do like smw like i run into a wall you run into a wall right right so you know where you're at eventually. even in like sm64 you can do that yeah but breath of the wild i mean you're just in the open yeah literally in the wild speaking of oh, which here we go for that blindfolded cryonis wind bomb uh showcase we are at 79 thousand five hundred and ninety eight dollars out of the eighty thousand we need for that Ooh, incentive wow. remember Ooh, all right of this there. goes directly towards making that breath of the wild run happen and there it is just like that wow. just like that 
I believe on Team for Chance, they just made huge progress. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, here, totally, yeah. Just missed the uh, dropping the boot on the note block there. Gotcha. And then, I mean, you're looking at, that's the long and the short of it there. Cool. The fireball, little stall, and you're GG on to level five. Yeah, you yes. see, that's the second time they've used a life to go ahead and go really far. Yeah. yeah. I think the first time they just wanted to see it, that time they were actually kind of yeah. figuring out what do we do here, you know? Yep. Yeah. And meanwhile, Prussian Turks really struggling with this timing. Yeah. Really, really struggling with this timing. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts, right? You're waiting yeah. on that thing. You're hanging out in the boot. Yeah. You got to go before before there's actually contact with the brick. Right. Yeah. There we go. Casper figuring Casper, it out. Casper, though, figuring it out. Oh. Just the wrong way on the bunk. Ooh, this gauntlet's a tough one. We don't call it a gauntlet for yeah. nothing. And here we go. Per here we chance go, Perps. again. Perps. Oh, oh my gosh, opportunity Perps. here. Perps. Sees it. Just oh, the just fireball. barely missed it. Incredible oh, run. Oh, really wow. great run. Like one or two more inputs was all he had left there. Yeah, yeah he just needed to shoot that fireball yeah. a little higher. And that might have been GG one level left. Good stuff by the beast there. Oh, just oh, a little just, short. Yeah. Meanwhile, though, Shoujo. Oh. Yeah, you got to drop that boot on that no block to get the... Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, see? Learning the timing there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bounce, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, you see the head nod and confirmation yep. of, okay, this is what I need to do this. Exactly. And showing your teammate. They like this. Very, yeah. very curious if Team Crush and Turk saw that. <laughs> 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 just saying. Yeah, I don't think they I were looking. I don't think they were looking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that jump right at the beginning yeah, when you have to catch the boot in the air. Yeah, that's that's really holding them up. Yeah, that's tough timing. It's tough too because normally when you make a mistake like that, you can just you know play it again, play it again. But pass it off to your teammates. You know, you're just watching, so you're not building that muscle memory right. quite yeah. like you normally want to. It's very difficult. Here we go, though. Pango. Hang on, Pango. on a run. Hang on a run. Oh, oh this is the fireball. The fireball. They're learning. They're seeing it, though. I think both teams now getting very close to the end of this one. Like, yeah. Yeah. It could go either way. For sure, team for chance knowing what to do. But even crushing turrets. Yeah. I think. They're I getting th there. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, Casper and Panga might be good to look at the other team here while this is going on. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. You see the head turn. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of knowledge happening over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you see him now. <laughs> and remember, the winner of this gets to face off in the versus showdown. Yeah, from yeah. The incentive that we met. So. You know, maybe you get to take it's out a little bit of It's on the line. There is a lot on the line. Yeah, there is a yeah. lot on the line. There is actually yeah. a lot on the line. More TV time. Baby. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Riles right there. Ry you know, his face is locked in. You can tell. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just did not get the boom in air. <laughs> An audible what is all I heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Honestly, on all of these these players, you can see the focus. Like, yeah. They are yeah. they are determined. You want to come through for your team, you know. It's 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 a lot. Yeah. I mean, they they know what's at stake. Yeah. I, I will say um, the pressure of having a teammate is stronger than the pressure of doing a solo. Right. Yeah. Also true. Oh wait, wait, wait Curbs. a minute. Curbs. Curbs. Oh. Oh, oh no. Just barely. All right, Shojo saw all of that. Oh my gosh! As the Shoujo fan club comes through. I mean, we've seen her do this already today. <laughs> yes. We have a huge update. So the blindfolded Cryonis wind bomb incentive has officially been met. Now we are just looking for that BLSS showcase. Oh. Nice. <clears throat> let's get the BLSS yeah, showcase. Let's get it. Yeah. Yes. Honestly, anything to delay the fly me to the stars run. And at this point, yeah, yeah, let's not make it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I need the time. I mean, we're only just over 200, 200K away from. Yeah, we're getting close. We're closing yeah. that gap fast. It's almost like the runners know and they want to give you some time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
We've got Tanga. Oh, oh no, he just forgot barely the misses fireball. the fireball. Yeah. The fireball. I, you know what? I, I'm going to call it right now. Double finish. Both you of think? these players. You think? We're going to get a double finish, both these players. I mean, there's even if you know what to do, there's just a lot of inputs happening pretty much all the time. Yeah. Like fireball here, jump here, you know? Yeah, tough execution for this one. Herbs, Herbs right on here. a run. We've seen him here. He was here already. Guess the timing. And there you there go. it is. Curbs securing level four for Team Perchance. Woo, and the audience is into it. And just like that, they are on to the final level of the night here. Yep. All right. And we're coming up. Casper and Panga have both been really doing runs on this level yeah. here. Yeah. We're going to need one of them to get through as Team Per Chance is on the final stage, and right away Shoujo knows what to do. Yeah, this is Sauce Powder. Uh, if you've ever loaded up the popular page, you will see a Sauce Powder level on there. A lot of these players are very familiar with this style. But definitely stepping outside of his box a little bit with some of this with the spring interaction. This is not just a bounce level here. We have just passed $1,800,000! Nice, Woo! let's go! Team Crushing Turts looking to make the comeback. Oh, oh wow. the reeds there, the like curves. <laughs> curves, new to duck. That was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. that was like flawless. Yeah. Man. That's pretty cool tech, actually. If you are ducking when a spring is hit from above by a shell, it will not hit you. Yeah, see, even though it, it looks is. like it. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, just missed the potabo there. Second chance at it. Oh. That makes there sense. it is. Nicely done. That's something that makes absolute sense. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, get out oh, of here. The read. The read. Wait a minute. Oh, just, oh, missed just the barely Yoshi. missing the Yoshi. Oh, wow. Wow. The presence of mind right there to recognize the juggle. And you've got to imagine, too, the nerves are definitely kicking in. They know this is the final level. Yep. And any run could so be the run. Fun. Yeah. That was so good. But they still have the composure to play through the level and read it like that. It's just crazy. Yeah, it's really impressive to see. Panga on a run over here for Team Crush and Turds. And we've seen Panga do a, get deep in this level a lot. Yeah, oh, just kicks it the wrong way there. All right, Beast coming in here. Oh, oh, clipping the just wiggler caught there. Just with the tail. Unduck yeah. just a second too early. Ruby, do you have one more for us? Oh, you bet I do. We have a $2,000 donation from Ooh. Furbald saying, have a wonder day. And a $3,000 donation from Link the Engineer saying, always happy to help Doctors wow. Without Borders. Wow. Two million hype. On the way. Link is a bit of an engineer now. He, he really is. Right, right. He really is. <laughs> he lost an arm, but gained a lot of knowledge. Well, it's a worthy trade-off, I think. <laughs> he, he loses yeah. an arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, spoiler. <laughs> I haven't got it yet. It's in the trailer. What? It's on literally, <laughs> it's on the cover of the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Curbs Curbs. missing the uh, the Yoshi push there. Yeah, just like Shoujo spring. did too. I think they're figuring out the timing though. Meanwhile, Panga, Panga. we've seen him here a bunch. Gets the jump. Here yeah. we go. The final section. Gets the shot. Boom. Stalls. Knows about the stall. There it is. There it is. Panga okay. once again closing the gap. And meanwhile, no checkpoint hit. We are at a virtual tie. How much knowledge was Team Crushing <laughs> Turds absorbing? <laughs> I think they were definitely looking at the screen. I, 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 Don't worry I about gave it. them Don't one piece of it. advice, one coaching move. The only coaching thing I said was, watch the other team. That was the only coaching move I said. <laughs> <laughs> Riles. Right. Yeah, Bradley's got a lot of information here nice. from the pre previous uh, runs here. That little juggle is so cool. I know, I love it. Oh, oh that Yoshi. barely tough. missing That's Yoshi. Tough. That's very yeah. tough. <clears throat> that red pipe means those Yoshis are coming out fast, too. Yeah. Meanwhile, Casper. 
Yeah, these guys are closing the gap at a rapid rate. I mean, look at this. Yep. Already knows what's happening. Oh. She's oh, nice recovery there. Yeah. Oh. He's got a little too excited. It's a full <laughs> jump. It's, it's not as easy as it looks. We've all been there. <laughs> yeah. Just push it harder. There it is. Gets the push on the Yoshi. Curves. Oh, it's the jump. He knows he needs to grab the spring here. What's going on? Trying to figure out what to do. He's got limited time. He, he got he it. He knows. Nails is it. Is this going to be it? Will this be it? And there oh, it is. Curves. Team for a chance. Team for chance securing the bag. Very cool. What a race. What a race. What standing, a race. Standing ovation for Yeah, let's give it up for these guys. Right Not a dry eye in the house. I mean, incredible gameplay, incredible levels. And yeah. like, if you've not followed these guys, like, and you watched that whole thing, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, find these guys, all eight of them, give them a follow. Yeah. Check and out their stuff. And shout out to all the makers that made these incredible levels. They just do it for the love of the game. We appreciate all of them. And this just couldn't happen without that great innovation and fun, so. Yeah, all right, I guess we're gonna get to the versus section now. Team Per Chance is gonna go at it. I think we need a minute to get that set up, right? Yeah. Awesome. All right, well, while that is getting set up, I'm going to go ahead and we have so much love coming in from the chat. We have a $250 donation from Crowbird saying, have to bundle a bunch of donations into one, but here's $94 for the Pokedex number of my favorite big purple guy, Gengar, 50 for some of the $5 trains I've missed this week, another 50 for all the cooking the chef has had to do, and of course, the rules are the rules and the facts are the facts. So the last $56 are my Tears of the Kingdom taxes. Let's get to two million and get this Breath of the Wild run, Chef. We have a $555 donation from Anonymous saying, in case some fellow chefs are a bit short at the moment. We have a $25 donation from Lexilogical saying, I typed this donation blindfolded. Let's see how I did. Hope I put in the right amount. We have a $200 donation from The Sound Defense saying, I don't know how these levels were made. I don't know how these levels are being played. All I know is that SGDQ needs an upgrade. Let's unlock that Breath of the Wild run. And currently, we are at $1,810,000. We are so close to hitting that $2 million. Chat and GDQ, let's see if we can make it happen. We have a $1,000 donation from Emlun saying, can we reach the milestone? A stone-faced young boy from Hyrule got tired and napped in a pool. As soon as he woke, a tired voice spoke. Oh, finally, hurry, you fool. We have a $50 donation from Tim V saying woke up extra early to see Bubsia not see anything. Let's get that Breath of the Wild run. We have a $50 donation from Shavda saying, lots of love to all the runners and friends I've made in the Mario community. Thank you all for being who you are. We have a $250 donation from Handy Pants saying, watching this Super Mario Maker 2 race with my nine-year-old son. He started trying to speed run a simple level earlier and is in awe. I am so lucky to share this experience with him. He's cheering on Crushing Turts. Go team! We have
have a $25 donation from Liam VGC saying five tickets for the $5 hype train, please. Also, let's get that two million and watch Bubsia save Hyrule for now. We have a $50 donation from the Little Hylian saying, greetings from the audience. Super glad to be with everyone again. Good luck to all the racers and let's see everyone go fast. We have a $250 donation from Big Eye saying, hi friends, trans rights are human rights. I love you all. Good luck on the relay, nerds. Less than three. We have a $5 donation from Evan saying, all I have to do to see the incredible Breath of the Wild run happen is donate $5. Get on it, chat. Chef needs a blindfold on the double. We have a $252 donation from Foblos saying, one ticket for myself and 49 extras, please. Oh, and two for two Bulbasaurs. We have a $200 donation from Resonance saying, Breath of the Wild must happen. We have a $50 donation from Rock Bomber saying, I'm here to pay my Tears of the Kingdom tax. It was $50, right? We have a $500 donation from Uneven Mike saying, it's been a wonderful week of speedy gameplay and awesome support for Doctors Without Borders. Here's 100 tickets to the $5 donation train to compensate for all the fun I've had this week. We have a $1,000 donation from Kaladin Stormblast, saying, life before death, Strength before weakness, journey before destination, medicine before sans frontier. Thank you for this amazing showing and for all the hard work behind the scenes. Much love and take care for such a great cause. Less than three. We have a $25 donation from Boss of Thieves Town saying, hello from the dark world. What's this about me being in Breath of the Wild? Oh, blind fold. Wow, I see, take my money so Link doesn't. these cheers up. I think we can do it. We are currently at $1,829,000. Keep those donations rolling in, Twitch chat. We have a $100 donation from Electric Dryad saying, some commenter said, if everyone donated right now. So here we are paying my Tears of the Kingdom tax to see Blindfold Breath of the Wild. We have a $5,000 donation from Akusai with no comment, but thank you so much for that generous donation.
We have a $250 donation from Pyru saying Elden Ring, Mario Maker, SM64, Breath of the Wild blindfolded, uh, SMB1 blindfolded, Super Metroid. What a stacked final day. Let's hit those last few incentives, everyone, and let them cook. All right, it sounds like we are ready for the Versus Showcase. So Mario Maker Racers, good luck and take it away. All right, yeah.